hi everybody i hope everyone's doing good in this video i will show you how to repair a ninja air fryer um, that the screen does not light up um, this might work for other um, type of air fryers uh, but this one is a ninja um, okay so first things first um, you have to take out uh, the screws in the bottom uh, they are triangle bits it, it's kind of complicated if you don't have that um, I had to buy the special bits uh, um, I will leave a the um, link in the description uh, so that you can buy those uh, from Amazon um, so after tearing all apart I started checking for uh, power going to um, the board I started checking con continuity on the on the cables making sure that the uh, um, that this uh, this switch right here you have to check for continuity once you take it apart you have to check for continuity um, obviously you're gonna need a, a multimeter I have my multimeter right here you can buy this on Hubble Freight for five dollars seven dollars maybe um, and after you check for that after I check for continuity the continuity was good um, so I knew it was not that was not the problem um, then I moved on I started checking uh, for connections broken cables nothing and then I found out that I was not getting any power to the board so I started looking even further and then I found this this right here this is called a thermal fuse this thermal fuse um, is rated for 184 uh, Celsius um, and this this was the problem and I will show you um, how to fix that okay so it's very important that you know that this fuse is hidden on the underneath here is not very easy to get to it's it's uh, like notch into here um, and then in order to get that out you have to remove the the nut for for the fan for this fan right here um, and this fan is right hand threads uh, so to loosen it you have to rotate it to the right like clockwise unlike other or conventional screws that you have to uh, turn it to the left to uh, get it loose so very important turn it to the right to get it loose um, once you get that out then you have a couple of screws that you have to take out and then you can access uh, to this fuse this is a new fuse um, I bought um, fuses uh, I got them on Amazon super cheap I got a pack of uh, 10 I believe a pack of 10 uh, see uh, this as you can see this is a uh, 184 I don't know why I'm out of focus there you go so 184 Celsius at 10 amp 250 volt 10 pieces I got this for 699 super super cheap um, and do not bypass this okay so um, what I did is uh, to test it I joined the cables uh, I joined these two cables uh, moment uh, you know just just as uh, just to diagnose where are they where are these cables at now I cannot find them uh, right here here they are so I joined these two together to test it and everything lit up it started working so then that's how I knew um, that the fuse was bad obviously I, I check it for continuity and it had no continuity the the fuse so after you replace this which I'm gonna do so what I did is I don't have uh, this uh, this is the old fuse right here see it has it has like those notches I don't have that but then what I had to do I have these things right these things right here you can get this at a hardware store or electrical store what I did is I, I cut this right here, this section, and then I just uh, splice it right there. 
as you can see it's not the same as the original but it's it's pretty close and all I need is to make a good connection and I got it to work now I will join it and then obviously it has this cover and I'm gonna put this cover in it so it should be good to go okay so I already put the fuse in I splice it there everything is working now and uh, now it lights up everything works so the hard part is gonna be putting it back together now <laughs> yeah not so easy so I hope uh, I was able to answer your questions hope sorry that I didn't film uh, the dismantle or I'm not gonna film putting it this back together I don't have a, a proper stand uh, I don't have a proper video equipment I'm sorry okay so this is it I finished it it took me about 15 minutes to put it back together now it's working as it should that's it that's all there is to it um, hopefully this video helps some of you out there if it does um, please subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up hopefully in the future I will get better video equipment and be able to film everything as I'm working but right now I'm filming with my phone and editing with my phone as well so okay guys um, I hope this helps some of you out there if you have any questions please leave it down in the section below and um, again give it a thumbs up and subscribe thank you